Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. I'm gonna do a quick fire review on the Solomon XT15 hiking slash running slash hydration vest. Um, I'm gonna go over a couple of things, key points as to what the pack does, how it operates, and so forth. Important critical information to know, and would it be a good buy or would it not be a good buy for somebody? So, first things first, I'd like to go over the front part of the pack. The water features for the front part of the pack. So you got these water flask holders in the front. Um, these flask holders can hold up to, I think, a 600 milliliter water flask, depending on how you stuff it in there. Um, it will be quite a tight fit. However, with this pack, you do have a meldable mesh that can extend outwards and wrap around. I wouldn't recommend overfilling it though, because it can tear the mesh. As you can see from this right here, got this big old pocket in addition to that you also have a pocket underneath that pocket that you can store like gels and stuff um, additionally to that you have a whistle I'm not gonna do that well on camera because it's probably gonna make people go deaf but there is a whistle that can go up to about 200 feet if you do happen to need it say you get into a situation where you get hurt or fall down a cliff you can use this to alert people to what you need help with basically. Um, quick side note, remember three burst equal the SOS signal with a whistle. Um, going back to it, you also have on the front pockets here, a collector strip, just in case you decide to run at night with this. Um, you have a key hook that you can use right here. This allows you to clip on your keys with a carabiner, keeping things good. Additionally to that, you also have another pocket and a number 500 milliliter flask pocket right here. Um, you have a sternum strap, multiple carabiner clips, straps right here, and then you also have a kind of an elastic -y type strap here. So basically it's a Velcro slash elastic strap. So when you cinch it down, this will basically meld out around your chest. Additionally to that, it's also a OSFM, one size fits most. So you can adjust it, say you're a bigger profile, you can take this and if I can get it to work, adjust it to, I'm gonna do this real quick. You can adjust it to a much bigger profile. I'm not gonna do that with this though because I am not that big, but you see what I mean? This can go out pretty far. So say any of my bigger runners out there, you could definitely use this or bigger hikers. Um, these clips right here, not clips, these straps right here are used for your sternum strap and your um, stomach strap or whatever strap you wanna call it. Um, basically what you could do, you can clip on the straps here and they're adjustable. Just take this, pull it out, put it onto one of these. Additionally, they're strong enough to hold a bottle, a tool, whatever you need. Just keep in mind though, you don't want to put too heavy of a tool on here otherwise it'll tear. Additionally to that, I'd also like to mention with the pockets, this is not a meldable, or no, correction, not a durable fabric. So keep that in mind. The pockets are not super, super durable. If you put something heavy in them, they're more than likely gonna end up tearing at some point or fraying away. You don't want to put something heavy in these pockets. Um, additionally to that, I'd like to note that you also have a hip belt. Stand up to show you. You have a hip belt that basically you can cinch down. OSFM, like I said, it's very adjustable. Um, you cinch it down, it's too high up on me, but you know what I mean. From there, what you could do is you could store a snack, a gel, whatever you need, a bottle, whatever you need to keep yourself going. Uh, it's a clip, by the way. All these are clips, so you could just take them off on the fly if you need to and adjust it. Keep in mind though, the pockets on the right and left side for the hip straps are the same thing as the water flask pockets. They're not durable. They will tear if you're not careful. I haven't had that issue yet and I have seen it. These are not a very durable fabric. I can stick my hand in these and you'll see my hand basically for the fabric. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that the, the padding on the back here, you're gonna get sweaty with this if you run with it. Hiking with it, same story. It's not a very breathable fabric. I'd have to say, if anything, 
it does kind of suck with ventilation. However, it compensates for that with the adjustability so you can loosen it to however you need it so you can breathe. Um, oh, another thing I forgot to mention is your loading strap. You don't have a front loading over the shoulder loading strap. You have these to adjust your loading straps. Keep this bottom half right here of your pack kind of up against your back because some of the weight's going to end up on the bottom part of the pack. Keep that in mind. You have these here, but you don't want these to be too high up like it is on me now because you see how the hip straps are kind of up here whenever I have it on. You want to have the hip straps down to your hips so you can balance out the weight between the two. Um, so moving on over. Oh, one more thing that I mentioned. Um, with the water flask pockets, you got this bungee cord to hold the straw. If you decide to take a straw, thread it through here. Additionally, you have a hole to thread a bottle tip through if you see it. That's adjustable if you want to use this for a bottle or just a little flash tip, that's fine. Additionally, you have a hydration pack holder right here for the hose. That'll allow you to adjust that to your liking. It's on both sides, so that way you can see however you want it. Um, moving on to the backhand side, I'm going to go over this. You have a handle, kind of like a handle. Um, I would not say to put too much weight in this and hold it like this because it will tear. Um, coming over to this, you also have your trekking pole holder right here. Trekking pole straps. This will allow you to hold the trekking pole securely without having it kind of dangle everywhere. Um, you can adjust it with this little plastic piece right here to however you need it. Just so that way in case you do need it, there you go, you got it. Um, same thing with the bottom hand side, you've got a gray one at the bottom here by the hip straps. There's this, you're allowed to adjust that with this. And that's that for that portion. Now we got the small pocket. So you got a small pocket right here. I'll show you if I can. Um, here, I'll also just stick my hand in here. So that's my hand, it's partially in there. Um, it can fit probably a phone couple of snacks and a portable charger if you need it. That's what I've been using it for. Additionally, it has a key hook in case you want to attach a key to it if you're worried about your key being secure. Moving on down to here, you have two different pockets in the main storage compartment. I'd say this is about 15 meters of storage capacity. For the back pocket, if I can show you it, this right here under the gray hood, you have a hydration pack holder. That'll allow you to hold a hydration pack up to three liters. I would not recommend anything above three liters. Um, you have a clip on like this. On the clip, that's, or clip it. It's up to you. You can use that to hold on to whatever you need to for hoses and stuff. Additionally to that, you also have a hose hole right here to stick it through the internal compartment. So that way you can drink from your hose as you go. The main compartment doesn't have much to it. It is a large, large compartment though. Let me zip it up so you get a better idea. So in comparison to this, let me find something to grab real quick. Um, I'm trying to think here. Let's do a flask. So this is a 500 milliliter flask. It just recently got used. So basically can stick this all the way into there. I'll show you real fast. Right down there. That's how big of a compartment this is. You can store a whole bunch of stuff if you need to. Um, I would not recommend putting too much weight into it though. You don't want to have it distributed too much because that is this is not a framed bag. You don't want to risk hurting your back. So just keep that in mind. Um, okay, sipping this back up. Also want to mention there is a reflector on the back here for running. You can see it. It's a big old Solomon logo that you see on every other pack. That is to keep cars from hitting you. You want to make sure you have that clearly visible. If not, then put something on the back here to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, one very, 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 very important thing that you're probably confused about on pictures. I'll show you real fast. So you have your sense strap. What is a sense strap? A sense strap is to basically load the weight further onto your back 
So that way you're not having just weight dangle. Having weight dangle does not feel very fun because then stuff starts to move and you end up having a very uncomfortable time with stuff shifting and things protruding. It's not fun. Uh, so basically with this, what you do is if you have any loose space, you take this, cinch it, and that'll cinch whichever's in your pack, get rid of that loose space, and allow you to utilize the loose space to keep it onto your back. Um, keep in mind though, do not tighten this too tight. This is not a super, super strong bungee cord. It is strong, but I would not recommend going like abusing it. You don't want to do that. Uh, one more thing I'd like to mention before I wrap things up here. You have a little hook here for like, I don't know, whatever you decide to use it for, maybe a bottle. Uh, use this little thing right here for your bottles, your tools, whatever, just hang around the back or like an ice pick or something. Overall, I'd have to say as a general consensus of the last two months of this thing, it is a good budget-friendly pack. Currently at the moment, it is priced at around $50 on the Solomon website. I don't know what Amazon has it priced at, but if you go to the retailer website, they have it priced out at about $50 on sale for what it was at $100. Um, it's a good pack. It has a few flaws with the durability, but overall, I haven't had too many issues. One more issue that will come up, and I do have to mention this, when you sweat in it, it will start to smell. It will eventually, after about three or four weeks of use, will start to smell. Um, I had to learn that the hard way, unfortunately, with all packs, it does that. Keep in mind, the fabric likes to absorb a lot of smell. Give it about two weeks, wash it every two weeks, and then do whatever you need to with it. If you are an avid runner, cool, you wanna make sure you do that. Um, it's a solid pack, I'd say for anybody that's on a budget, go for it. If you're not on a budget, you have $150 worth of money to spend past this, I'd say go for the advanced skin. The advanced skin I haven't had to get a hold of yet. It is a good pack as far as I'm told. It's almost the same storage capacity by three liters. Um, it's not bad. This pack, however, is a good alternative for more hikers and less runners. Um, so yeah, that's the Salmon xt15 water pack slash hiking pack slash whatever you want to call it if any questions come up feel free to ask them in the comment section i'm more than willing to answer not many people have offered reviewing this so i would love to answer any questions you have have a good one